Hello Aries and welcome to your weekly reading. This is a very general reading for the week of August 10th through the 16th and um, I am still on vacation. I did bring my gemstones and tarot so I so you don't miss the reading. I'm doing a reading for you. Coffee Cup weekly readings will resume next week. Okay, um, follow me on Instagram. I do post dailies and birthday readings. Okay, what are we seeing here for you? There, for some of you, remember it is a general reading. We are seeing a lifestyle that you used to have in the past may be returning. Maybe you want to go retract somehow or someone may be coming through. This could be love from the past. Either a lifestyle you had with someone from the past or something like that or your routines, whatever you did, is coming back and it can affect you. And it's um, it's like retracting, but I don't know if it's a very good idea. Um, you know, it's your life. I'm just seeing what I do see. Um, I do see you have to be strong because there's a lot of adjustments this week too, okay? I'm, you're dealing with some kind of disappointments. I do see that energy too. There's going to be some major decision maybe that you're going to have to make. I see a lot of lessons. This is your wishes, dreams, your goals, everything that's been not easy. You've had some disappointments, yes. Um, you're going to have to make some kind of um, choice or decision. I feel that there's a lot of lessons that have been learned. There may be something that's revealed, some information, or some kind of secret comes through, okay? Um, it's like you're kind of overwhelmed and you're kind of cautious as well. Um, this is psychological purging, um, philosophical views, all of that. There's some changes there. Uh, communicating from the heart is um, showing up as well. This could be heartfelt communications as well or some information. Listen to your heart is another way I'm seeing this. You do have a personal tower here and even spiritual ones. So these are some things, destiny, spirituality, changes of beliefs. You have a lot of doubts um, and negativity that you're kind of fighting off. You have, you're creating some kind of blockages. It's like your own um, worst enemy and there are others around that may have helped that situation too. So you kind of look at it like, okay, screw it. You know, I have no hope. I am, you know, don't, don't do that. Okay. There's some information that's coming into this could be some ideas as well. Um, it's like you're reconnecting more and more from the heart with someone that you care about, but you're kind of cautious or you're also, you could be worried or concerned about somebody's overall health or well-being. Um, you have two hearts here too. Compassionate energy, generosity is coming through. Money, lifestyle again, family, um, money coming in too. So you have a lot here. Um, I do see for a lot of you, there is a sense of uh, things just working out unexpectedly, um, just when you least expected, some surprises, uh, getting a lot what you do desire and want. There is success. There is some kind of victory, okay? Um, I do see also there is some um, responsibilities that you need to take care of, very nurturing energy too. You may be nurturing someone, taking care of others too, and there is responsibilities that are on your shoulder. This is also making some sound um, business um, solutions, money choices, things like that. You could be investing in the home somehow or a home business. I do see that there is some deception around you too, but you, I see also this could be you just being more to yourself. You're kind of researching, investigating, you're keeping more to yourself, but there is a little bit of deception around you, okay? Um, it's, uh, yeah, that energy is present. Um, I do see you're going to decide to close something up. You may be walking away from something as well. You know, things are going to start getting really fast uh, moving. So just know that. It's like you kind of want to push some, uh, some things through. For some of you, it's like you've been kind of dwelling on something. And then you're like, you know what? That's it. I want that. I'm, I'm moving forward. I'm done. I'm done. And you kind of want to push it too fast. You want it done now. You know, <laughs> that kind of energy. There is a healing energy that is showing up here too. I do see there's a lot of major changes coming. You've got adjustments, so and you got a tower, two towers here, so definitely major changes are coming. Some of you may be dealing with a Virgo or the energy of a Virgo. Um, things are going to start moving really, really quickly. Again, here I'm seeing, like I said, we already went through that. Something is coming up from the past. I don't know if it's this week. There is an energy here that you have to adapt to a lot of the changes that are happening. So making adjustments and adaptability is going to help you go with the flow. Um, you need to stand your ground somehow. Maybe you need to put a border up to from this or some situations like um, boundary, boundaries, borders. Um, standing your ground is really strongly indicated. Uh, for a lot of you, there's a lot of happiness here too. I do see you need to lighten up a little. It's like joke a little, enjoy life a little. There's a sense of just um, being lighthearted is very important. Counting your blessings is coming through too. It's being grateful and blessed, um, um, being grateful and uh, uh, 
counting your blessings for the things that you already have, okay? Like family, people that you care about, uh, your health, your wealth, things like that. So um, counting your blessings is going to be very, very important as well, okay? That's going to bring you some kind of rewards too. Well, Aries, that was your reading for the week of um, August 10th through the 16th. A regular Coffee Cup um, weekly readings will resume next week. I hope you have a wonderful week and bye for now.